Hi there, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I wanted to talk about protein pacing today, what that is, why it's so important, and how you can really get your body into this amazing fat burning zone without just eating a ton of fat, but also without cutting calories or cutting things out of your daily nutrition. So this is all about increasing protein. There are so many studies that are now being done on the value of adding protein to your diet. Now, when we talk about protein pacing, this is just a great way to increase the protein that you're getting throughout the day um, in spaced out increments. So it's important that your total goal for the day is right for you. Every body is a little bit different. Your goals may be different if you're you know, training for something, um, exercising versus not exercising, that can change the total amount what you're shooting for a little bit. So if you have questions on that, don't hesitate to reach out and be like, hey, this is where I'm at, this is where I wanna go, what do you suggest for a total protein number? I'm more than happy to kind of give you a benchmark to start with. But overall, you're gonna be wanting to get anywhere from at least 20 to 30 grams at a time and I, so I use 25 as just an easy benchmark to kind of shoot for when you're starting to do this. Um, and you want to get that at least four to six times a day. That is protein pacing. Focusing on 25 grams of protein four to six times a day. Now, I average that out here in five meals. 25 grams of protein five times a day. Easy way to do it. So breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner. And by really, you know, and you can chart it. There are a ton of apps that you can chart what you're eating, and it can let you know how much protein you're getting. Oftentimes, you're thinking, mm, I'm pretty good about it. I think I'm getting a pretty good amount of protein. Wait until you track it. You will be shocked at the actual amount. Um, so this will end up being about every three hours that you're going to be eating. Typically, for somebody who's awake for a normal amount of time during the day. <laughs> Um, so breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, and you're just focused on getting 25 grams of protein at each, then by the end of the day, boom, you're getting 125 grams of protein in. It's, it's almost that easy and simple. It's just shifting how you're thinking about meal prep and everything else. It's not just about, oh, I'm going to eat healthy. Oh, I'm going to, you know, make sure I'm having lots of salads and all that. Great. Yes, that's super important. But when you switch to protein pacing, you're actually going to be maximizing the amount of muscle that you're maintaining and can build during weight loss. The number one thing that people struggle with, especially women, is that when they are going through a phase of weight loss, they're looking for these massive changes on the scale. That's actually not good. The, the female body has a hard time really getting a lot of actual fat tissue lessened in the body really, really quickly. So if you have done weight loss programs in the past where you're like, I lost five pounds in a week. That's going to be either fluid and inflammation or it's going to be muscle tissue. So maybe at the beginning of a, of a diet program that you go on, you're like, oh, the beginning of it was great. I lost all this weight. Yay. Okay. Okay, great. Maybe that was a lot of inflammation that was in your body or a lot of fluid that just got regulated. Super. But if you're going through different phases where you're like, yeah, I lost six pounds in a week. Ooh, you know what you're actually losing? Muscle mass. When people go through, especially women go through weight loss journeys and you're losing a lot of weight, you actually, your body will use your muscle tissue for energy. So you're actually not changing your body composition unless you're supporting it nutritionally with the right amount of protein. So that's so important. When you are maintaining that, at least maintaining your muscle tissue through weight loss, your weight loss is actually more effective and more lasting, more permanent. So there, this means that there's no rebounding after you stop or if you go off the diet and go on vacation for a week, if that makes sense. So that's a really important key. I'm going to do a video just on this alone because it's that important for women. You actually max your muscle building with exercise when you're protein pacing. If you want to build more lean muscle that's going to burn more fat tissue in your body, then you need to fuel to make sure you have those nutrients available. Otherwise, you just can't get there. It's like trying to drive your car without any gas in it. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> so you can maximize your muscle building with exercise. And for women, building muscle can be very difficult because women build muscle differently than men do and stress impacts our ability to build lean muscle easily and efficiently. 
Protein pacing is also going to increase your energy. You just have more nutrient available to expend for energy on an everyday basis. And it's then improving your body composition, meaning you have an increase of muscle tissue and a decrease of fat tissue on your physical frame, which is what most people are kind of going for. So this is really the way to build muscle and burn fat without cutting calories. It's not about counting calories. You know, calories are not created equal. A ca you know, calories of, you know, almonds, 100 calories of almonds is different than 100 calories of gummy bears, right? It's not about calories. It's about fueling your body and what that fuel does with your system. So protein pacing for the win. Yes. If you have questions, please, please, please let me know. If you've done protein pacing and you've had a great result, please let me know. But if you're also looking to break a plateau, this can be something that is super easy to implement and will give you fantastic, fantastic results. All right. I'll see you later.